Hi, my name is Cindy Rang. I'm Brianna Motzkus, and today is our Wednesday box opening. Are going on in the background. Trey, she's just so working away. Working, working away. Working, working, working. And we all noticed something happened over well, the I weekend. mean, now that you know it's a girl, they're like, oh, you have a baby in there? Yeah. yeah. It's like, yeah. My pants and haven't fit for weeks. I know. <laughs> I know, but suddenly she. She did get bigger. Tracy noticed. She's too. looking for room. I think the baby. You know, was just hanging out trying to look like a boy. I know. <laughs> I want to look like a football. I football. No, no, no. So she's like, no. yes, free it. Yeah. <laughs> I am here and I'm coming to your world. But even like this weekend, we were um, cleaning some, and you'd see a feel a foot or whatever. I kept telling her, you want to feel a foot? Maybe a hand, an appendage? And he's like, well, I love you and I love that baby, but I don't know if I want to feel the alien inside your body. <laughs> Okay. Feel right, you know, here or whatever. And then they didn't understand what they were feeling. No. They don't understand. No. Well, when she gets bigger, bigger, she'll start kicking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can actually feel something. But just pressing, you know, pushing out, that's not the same thing. But mm -hmm. did you hear that the baby's super tall? No, but I had a measuring. Yeah. Measuring so big. measuring wise, yeah, they think that's the great. baby's going to be super, a large baby. But she's barely weighing in at 15 ounces. So it's obviously not for, uh, the Wait. baby effect. We've got Long some, skinny. yeah, Robert length. So we're kind of excited. I know. Brittany's yeah, excited they, too. Yeah. She's like, oh, we get a long one? I was like, I know. <laughs> Here in about, uh, what, three years, <laughs> it'll look like you have triplets. I know. <laughs> the two yeah. short babies and the tall baby. And yeah. I told Brittany, he's like, I'd be really good because I need someone to reach the third, you know, tallest cabinet in my cabinets because yeah. I can't, I can't fit that shelf. And I have to hoist one of my little children on the table and then they might be able to get on that top shelf, but <laughs> it'd be a couple of years. I know, yeah, it's <laughs> But yeah, we'll have triplets in no time for sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yep. All, All right. right. Let's see. What are we going to start with? I think it's just with? fabric. I don't think I have any notions. I don't think we have any notions. No any notions, notions. No patterns. I've got Moda over here. We have Moda. E we have change. QT. And something over here. I think this might be Northcott. Okay. Should we start with this one? Oh, oh, open open it yeah, we'll open it from down here. We ate our uh, tomato soup, our um, earthy... Tomato soup lunch. It was good. It was good. Yeah, it was good. And I'm always a sucker for salting crackers. Oh, so. is this is? the? Um, did we get uh, fat quarters for this? No, the fat quarters we did open though for Sunday would go with these. These are black and white banyan batiks. Hmm. I guess I really missed that they were pretty, batiks, but really pretty. Ooh. This was almost navy. Oh, well, I think that there's two because there's oh, yeah. this one is that navy and this is black. It must be navy and black. And these are white on white. So essentially the basic gray oh, yeah. good. So they have the gray good that they stamp their white chop on. Then they'll dye that one. To create the colors. We'll, um... We'll take the plastic off of this so that you can kind of see up close. Yeah. Because there is um, two very distinct colors. Three. 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 Yep. Okay. Does it have a name? It doesn't really have a name, does it? Um, it's their Banyan Classics. So it's just, so essentially they start with one of their prints, white on white, and then they dye it purple. And so you'll recognize these prints if you're a Banyan fan because and by, it's their basic print that yeah. they dye over. And by prints, of course, she means those chops. And so then what they did, uh, I think you're right, is so then they just did a dark blue and then they did the black. Mm -hmm. So they're the... Because this one I feel like I've seen. The polka dot Well, ones. all of these. Yeah. I think you're right. Classics. Yeah. So, yeah, so not really a collection. So they're just going to mm -hmm. be in the... Teak category, 
they'll be the first, you know, 10 batiks you see will be these. Mm -hmm. And we'll show you up close, but just so you can see the color difference, can they see that? That yes. here is the black mm -hmm. and white, and then here is the navy. Yes. And so the patterns are, of course, this dot. Super awesome. And then there is this swirl. And this little circle I love in a circle. This I love this one too. Um, and then also, this is what this white on white print is. Is is this print? And I can see it here. I can tell that that's white on white. Uh, you, I'm sure you can't see anything. In the... see. I don't think I can. But let me see if I can. Yeah. No. No. Huh. But it looks light. just like that. And then. The other, so here's the black and the blue. What would you call that? A kind like a pinwheel. Swirl, pinwheel, yeah. And then there's also a white on white. In that same. I guess I have this thing. We can kind of see it where it shades in right there. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, we can see that. Yeah. So it's that same thing. So white, black, and blue. And then finally, this little, I guess it's a flower. Yeah. This is what it is in the black and in the blue. Beautiful. All right. Classic. And that's what you said it was called was Classics? Banyan Classics. Banyan yep. Classics. All right. All right. Moda. <coughs> Ooh, oh. joyful, joyful. Oh. Joyful. Does that mean it's going to be Christmas? Well, it doesn't look like Christmas Stacy Less 2. It doesn't look like Christmas yet. It does not look like Christmas. Um, well, it could Tyler, be. That could be Holly. This you know, that Stacy Less 2, whatever. You know who she is? She's that modern gal that does the big animals. Yeah. Oh, she kind of. There's the, an activity scene. Oh, yeah. Oh, kind of Christmassy. Kind of not, though. I mean, if you don't want to do the Christmas, it looks like a lot of her coordinates. This is totally Christmas. I know, but I'm just saying, a lot of her coordinates aren't. Oh, the coordinates aren't. So if you just like That's the true. color one, do like a three Because this is the nativity. Yes, I knew that. I know what they were. I'm sure I already said that. And then the points at it and the dove. Okay. So but this, this could be anything. Yeah, it could be anything. And then these could be anything. Yeah, these are a whole bunch of other. And then this could be um, backing. Back here it goes with it. Sweet. Ooh, or a jumbo Sweet. panel. That's exciting. I have no idea what that is. All right, we're gonna take. Some <laughs> <laughs> gonna, what is what that? Is it? What right. is it? So we're gonna take some plastic off, open things up, cut we'll one of these bad boys off. See what it is. Okay. Joy for joyful. It's this cool. is really, really pretty, and it is kind of funny because. If you want it to be Christmas, I mean, I, I mean, there's a nativity sign, so it is. It clearly is Christmas, but there's a few pieces yeah. in here that you're right. You the really, supporting pieces, you really yeah. could do a really fast three yard quilt yeah. that has nothing to do. You might get a point set it in one, but like if you You'll see, see it on this yeah. one, it's just it just looks like a flower. Yeah. Um, or you could do a really cute winter quilt, keeping mm -hmm. it just like you like the point set as in the dove mm -hmm. and the nativity. You would almost not notice right off the bat what it is. Because what I think is, first of all, this fabric will sell out really fast. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that is that you don't often find Christian fabric at, That's true. at Christmas. Uh, I don't know why, yeah. I think, uh, but it's it's not very often that you find angels or you find nativity. So the fact that this mm -hmm. has it on there, I think there was only one other that Northcott blue and red line. I, and mm -hmm. I think that was just like a panel and that was also, so this will sell out quickly. So if you make the mistake of getting too much of it, mm -hmm. what is kind of nice is you could use these other bits in other things. There's no weird colors. And in then there, but. this morning, if you uh, watched this morning and watched the oh, tutorial on how to do yeah, that yeah. ribbon, you could use the nativity scene as those yeah. bigger panels. And again, you can make those panels yeah. any size you want. They don't have yeah. to be 14 inches like I did because I like that piece so much. Yeah. And then do that really pretty ribbon. It would be really cool, really mm -hmm. fast and pretty. It'd mm -hmm. really show off your yeah. nativity scenes. Yeah. 
It really is pretty. Yeah. And the panel is super awesome. It's cool. So the deal with the panel is that it's to make like these little softies. So what you're going to do, I don't know, can they see it in there? I guess they kind of can. So what you're going to do, this is the outside of the um, stable and the inside of it. And then um, you can see that there's even the roof. And if you can, can you see that on there? Kind of. That this is what it looks like. And then when the whole thing folds up, all of the little pieces go inside there. So you've got the wise man, the donkey. I think, the, again, I'm sure there's three wise men. There's the yes, angel, there Mary Joseph, and the baby. Where's the baby? Oh, here's the baby. <laughs> there's a manger, the sheep, the camel. That's really cool. It's just, and it all folds up on its own. So it's like a yeah. pack and go toy. Yeah, a little softy. Mm -hmm. It's really, really, cool. really cute. And all your instructions are right on your panel. Yeah. So you don't have to be with And it has, it talks about where the Whoop. Velcro is and it, um, it, Velcro's closed mm -hmm. to hold all of your little pieces. So super cool. cute. Yeah. And it's a big oversized, what is it? 60 by a yard? A yard. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what I'll do at the very end of here, when we're doing you know, our little end credits, I'll put pictures of this because she's really good about doing stage pictures. So you can see oh, yeah. what it looks like all put together. Yeah. If you have a hard time squinting at that little yeah. picture down yeah. there. Pretty fun. Pretty easy. All right. I'm going to come around so they can see All right. See and then it. we'll look at these. And it really, it looks like there's, what, about five or six different prints and just really fresh, you know, pretty modern colors. Are you going to kind of do a pan across first? Yeah. Yeah. To show there's only one of the lime green, but that lime green is used in a lot of the backgrounds. So there's the blue, that really pretty red, the white. I love this teal. And then the peach. And yeah, let's just start down here with these because look at these. Look how just, that's really pretty. Add all mm -hmm. of those in there. So here's the, again, whether you say poinsettia or poinsettia. Really pretty with the little doves. And this was the piece that at first we thought, I guess it is holly, but if you had some left over. Really pretty piece that's in a lot of colors. This is that same as that first one, but look, it just looks so different because of the colors. This is in a lot of colors. Here's that same holly. Again, looks very different. Kind of a tangerine. Yeah. It's really pretty. Yeah. Here's in the teal. Here's the holly. And then here's the first one we've seen of this pretty... So yeah, you're right. I would say that is definitely a poinsettia, but if I were to put that in something else, springy, because the colors are so nice. I have leftover. And these, I'm guessing, are probably supposed to be like a stars and snowflakes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but eh. just a good texture. Right. Bows. Beautiful. This is oddly the same as this one, but look at just how they use the color. It looks totally different. Really cool. Mm -hmm. And then here's the first of the nativity scenes. And what's funny is, let me show it to you. There's only It's only in two pieces. So it's just this white background in the blue background so you can see that this is in a kind of a golden color gold tan color not metallic at all but it really shows up on the blue and it's pretty subtle on the white very cool mm -hmm. and then here's another one of the this is the last of those poinsettia pieces and then there's some angels. There's only angels in two colors. Just this red background and in the blue background. Oh, I don't know which one is my favorite. I know. They're both pretty striking. Mm -hmm. And then two more of the little holly. So there's the red and then here's the green one. And this is really the so only cute. lime green, just because it just, I mean, it's really a good color. Look at it with that. Yeah. Yeah. And then here's the other doves. And then this one really does look more like snowflakes than stars. And then the last one 
is these boughs. Just for, I guess, what? Decorating the tree, I guess. Yeah. Pretty, pretty, really pretty texture. All right, that's it. Not a that's huge cool. collection at all. And there were Oh, pots? yes, there are. Yeah, but I only found five inch squares. I think so that that's weird. Questionable, but. Hmm. I think there's another box coming. I know. Wouldn't be the first time. So, well. you might to hear about Joyful Joyful again. Yes. But for now, it's this. Don't wait, because no. again, the nativity Christian. stuff and the angel stuff is going to go super fast. Yeah. And then, yeah, five inch squares. Yeah. It's really pretty, though. It's cute. And even if you feel like, oh gosh, I really don't want to do a whole lot of angel or nativity scene, take, you know, you're going to only have, what, what is it, six squares mm -hmm. and a half yard to redo those six squares. Really I think it's cool. a pretty versatile collection. She did a really good job mm -hmm. planning colors mm -hmm. and her textures. I think it's really pretty. It's really cool. There's um, two. There's two, yeah. I'll probably cut oh, this one to see what this is. Oh, man. Very cool. Is there a panel that goes with this? Oh, uh, I don't know. I hate it into this box. This is like a box instead of a box. A box is but not in an exciting way. Oh, let's see. Ooh, it's called Bohemian Dreams. Look at my face. Bohe <laughs> Bohemian Dreams. That that is a good descriptor. Oh, this stripe is so cool. <gasps> oh, look at that. You know what this reminds me of? So some of my uh, hardcore fabric patchers that are local would know. Um, was it Andover who put out those bubbles uh -huh. that was almost um, in a color sequence uh -huh. that went so super fast? One of the fastest fabric lines. That was like pre the whole YouTube world. And this makes me think of that. Yeah. There's just so much cool oh stuff going gosh. on. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, and they're only um, 10 yard bolts. That's Ooh. super sad. <gasps> look at that one. Ooh, look at this one. This one lost its plastic. Oh, look at that. Oh man. We're going to take some plastic off. <laughs> <laughs> this one makes me happy. This one is way, way cool. It is. It is. It's really, it's really bright. It's really modern. It's also mm -hmm. bohemian. It's a little bit of everything. Yeah. It would go really with. good texture. Mm -hmm. Just some, even yeah. if you just want to build some, some of the novelty, some of the brighter stuff in your stash, this is a great stash building one. Mm -hmm. Or if you want to make something super great, something purple and orange, mm -hmm. something young, but didn't look too old. If yeah. you have, you know, a tween somewhere in there who mm -hmm. really still is like pink and yellow or whatever. This is one of those sophisticated age ones that yeah. if you want to transition into something, um, you know, more older, more sophisticated. This is really cool. What's really nice about this too is that if you have some of those panels that you've collected, mm. some of the, um, uh, like some of the digital panels, because this is this is this is a digital fabric, which yes. is the only way you can get that kind of clarity. But it looks batik. It does almost. So yeah, it I is. Yeah. That. Yeah, just there's just so much color and so much movement with it. So yeah. it it would go with anything else that has a whole lot of color and a whole lot of interest. Mm -hmm. it, I wonder. It really I bet it pretty. would even look good with the turtles. Are there somebody's turtles? <gasps> Ooh, yeah, I'm sure would. it would. All right, mm -hmm. I'm gonna put this order. Whoever's order this is, so you can flash a turtle when it's time. All right, I want to go back to you guys. Let's who is see it? it? Let's just see who's doing oh, yeah. this. It's somebody who got a little bit of everything. This is, um, oh, Delmarie Snodgrass. You know, I have uh, put a note on there a couple times. There was one of my nursing instructors at college. Her name was Vi Snodgrass. I always wondered if they were related. All right, so yeah, I'll flash this turtle. There's not very many of these turtle panels left, though. Oh, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. But, but if you really got, cute. yeah, if you got the turtle. And you wanted to know what else, and you wished you would have gotten more of the fabric. Yeah. Yeah. I'll flash that. And then, did you mention? Nope, but they're looking at it up. right now. Uh, 
fat quarter packet. There's not very many of them. And then there are also um, two and a half inch strips. Equally awesome. Equally awesome. So you made it all the way Super through. Super cool, we did. You know, it's just, um, I'll, we'll hold some of them up so you can see up close, but yeah, look at that with the turtle. Anything that has all of that vibrant color, you would do really well. Look at that. Yeah. Isn't that pretty? Oh, look at it with that. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. Um, where are you starting down here? On that end, yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know. Beautiful. This is in a couple different colorways. This is in quite a few different colorways. See, I think that's swirl. just a great stash builder piece. It is. Get a yard of all of those textures. If you're doing something birthday, yeah. you need a birthday bag. It's and we oh. should offer, you know, half yard cuts or one yard cuts, but there's just not enough of it to do that. Yeah. You know, it's, we only have 10 yards of each of them. So this time we won't, but. And um, that one's kind of cool. Kind of, you yeah. know. Uh, gypsy, that whole little moon. Yeah. I love that. It's not really phases of the moon, but that's okay. Here's another swirl. Look at all those colors. Mm. And they're all nice, you know, clear colors. Here's another one of those kind of mosaic tile in the yellow. Here's the last of the swirls. So that was in three colorways. Oh. This is the first time we've seen this piece. And look at that. How and that's fun. in the fuchsia. And here it is in the orange. And then it's only in one other colorway. It's in this really pretty blue. I guess that's more of an indigo, isn't it? Yeah. Beautiful. So cute, though. Mm -hmm. Olive oil. Mm -hmm. And then there's this little flower. really nice with the little background flower also and I think we saw that before it's also in this orange oh that's a good piece mm -hmm. and in the fuchsia really pretty and then this one is almost comes across pastel -y, but it looks really good with these other pieces it really you does see see if you put it like with that Look how pretty that is. This is a great piece just to keep in case uh -huh. for an Easter something. Oh, it yeah. It looks great with it this collection, a... but it's kind of soft. It is. Almost. Yeah. It's fabulous, though. Mm -hmm. And then the stripes, there's three of those. Oh, I love this piece. I think the stripes are going to go super fast. Super fast. Yeah. And here's the purple one. Oh, man. Right. Really pretty. Love them all. And then there's this great big, that was the moon. You almost don't notice that that's the moon there. That that's that same print. And here it is in the blue. And we saw it already in the purple. How cool. Mm -hmm. And then, oh, see now what's funny is this is the same print as that one that was kind of Eastery. Isn't that funny that you see totally different things, but the print is the same? Yeah. It's just the opposite colorway. And then here it is in a purple. And then this is the last one, and it is that, that kind of a medallion tile. Mm -hmm. And that was in the purple, the yellow, and the blue. Oh. So cool. Yeah, really, really pretty. I think that's one, my favorite of the day. Really pretty. And it's Dan Morris, you know, he's done so many things. I think the last couple of his were, um, sorry, the last couple of his were like Western, weren't they? Yeah. yeah what are you doing? <laughs> She's back in the chest. Just trying to make mom fall. <laughs> All right. Do we have another one? Uh, oh, is that we it? We could open... Um, let me go ahead. Let's. I'm gonna put these away, and then I'm gonna see what I have over here and see what we can open. If we... Okay. So we do have. Um, and I think it really is just two boxes. Yeah, I really think it is. Of this, it always makes us suspicious when um, Moda says one of two and two of two. Um, two boxes uh, for a collection doesn't seem like enough, but um, so we cracked this open to see, and um, that does um, make it's... sense. Create. 
More yeah. black and white, goodness. More black and white. And this, um, what was the name of that other line? Oh. Um, illustrations? See. Oh, illustrations. Oh, a panel? Mm -hmm. Gosh, I love the big line work flowers. Oh, this one. You know what's really nice about this is that if you, um, I'm going to see if I can find the sample, but um, if you have a fabric like this, it's just line work, um, and you have some uh, fabric specific markers or crayons that you can use and um, if you have a little one that wants to make something for oh, mom yeah. you know they can uh, color the fabric and then you can just go ahead and make even just a little tote bag or a little purse or you know a little mug rug something else just out of the fabric that they've created oh yeah oh yeah oh cute okay let's go cut this okay let's take the I'm gonna take lots off we'll be just so okay. So this collection is called Create. Um, it's all black and white. Her last few collections have only been black and white, but then she shuffles up her panels, of course, and kind of changes out some of her floral And prints. she changes out her flowers. So she's almost mm -hmm. doing like... Robin Pickens? Robin Pickens. Robin Pickens has that same aesthetic. She just changes out the flowers. She's doing the same thing because I'll show you in a minute because her last one was uh, Echinacea. Uh, flower and this one is a, a little bit every, yeah, oh, what okay. is it? a poppy mm -hmm. yeah so this is her panel so it's a little bit of everything you but see? so you've got the big panel here on the side that's create and then you've got her hands doing oops sorry creating good things scissors pencil needle and thread or just a ruler depending on what and you're doing what is this uh, making things cool just kind of a long one. And then another one that's in, that says dream. So uh, certainly people have been enjoying the idea of And that cake. one says made with love. Look, you already got your label then. Boom. Yeah. You could you could definitely come cake this. Oh, absolutely. Really easily. You and it's also already have... different sizes, yeah. which is what makes a crumb cake so cool is the uh -huh. different sizes. And you could add a little bit of color if you'd like to and I'll tell you a little tip if you are doing a crumb cake and you want to add just a splooch of you know yellow or blue or something like that make it fairly small so when you cut your strips instead of doing the one and a half two two and a half three three and a half make it just one and one and a half and don't go any bigger than that so that you'll just have tiny little, little, little yeah sparkly bits not not you know paint blotches of it and so that would be kind of fun. The other thing that you could do is you could actually go in and individually color one or two different things if you that wanted to. Very cool. And I just wanted to show That's you. That's something you can also, the coloring, you can do after your quilt is made. You could. You could lay it on the floor on your big dining room yeah. table and then decide, I'm going to color this one. I'm going to yeah. color this one. And then just have yeah. your quilt made and then decide what you're going to color. It might yeah. not be just the panel pieces. Maybe you want to color something just mm -hmm. cut out perfectly and almost looks like you fussy cut out a three inch square. Yeah. But you want to color that little piece in. You want to make sure that you're using appropriate fabric yes. markers. Do not use a Sharpie. New marker. Bad things will happen. Really bad the things. The moment happen. that Sharpie. Really bad things. Speaking of a Sharpie moment. So oh, no. <laughs> it didn't have, it was me and Harper. So we were moving some canned goods into the back storage room because Robert did some shelving for me so I could put it all back there. And she was just like driving me up freaking wall. Mom, mom, ooh, baby, ooh, mom, <laughs> mom, mom. <laughs> and it's like, stop touching me. Oh, okay. Mom, baby, baby, and she's just, and I have this red sharpie in my hand because I'm labeling the top of my jar, so I just poke her right in the head, give her a little Indian dot, you know, and she, she goes to the bathroom, she shuts the door, and behind our bathroom door is a long, and she's bawling. She is hysterical, and Robert's like, why did you cry? I said, Robert, I poked her with a red marker. She's like, you did what? I said, no. I literally took my felted marker and like, boop, boop, right there. <laughs> she like, Harper, Dad's like, oh, Harper, what's wrong? Oh. Mom put a dot on my head! <laughs> so he peeked into the bathroom, because we can see her through the laundry room, and he's just cracking up. This tiny, he's like, I kind of take her serious, because she's crying over this tiny little, like, bug bite size <laughs> hair <Hilarious>. ball. <laughs> it was hilarious. So after she had her, like, two-minute meltdown, she was good. She was finally ready to help me, and she stopped poking me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was that was a good mom morning. It turned out really yeah, funny, and Robert's like, "Really? You had a poker with a marker?" <laughs> yes, I did. I did. I did. I did.
And apparently it really it worked. worked. It, it dug deep, man. <laughs> dug real deep. <laughs> so yeah, that was my mom moment with Harper. <laughs> that was pretty good. That was pretty good. <laughs> so, yes, appropriate markers, yes, pencils, not crayons. a Sharpie. Not a Sharpie. Yes. All right, I'm going to come around real fast Hi. so you can see up close, and then we'll... Yeah. And this is, what is the name of this one again? Create. So it only has one, two, three, four, five, six. Only has, in addition to the panel, there's only seven pieces. But I'm just going to show you up well here. If you scan across, we almost have to look at them individually. Yeah. Um, because this is absolutely beautiful. And just even in big pieces. I mean, look at that. It's just a bouquet. Wouldn't that be beautiful, even as just a modern wedding for some um, table coverings? Ooh, uh, that's a great idea. Table, table runners. That's beautiful. And what a fun idea also to put some fabric good things on there yeah. and have people color it or have a kid color. I mean, yeah. you're going to have some that aren't going to be able to be put in anything. And then yeah. you're going to have some really cool memories for your memory quote. Yeah. And so this one is black background. This is the exact same print but it is white background, so it's very simple, very modern, just beautiful. You could just, just color a couple things if you wanted to, or I love it just exactly the way that it is. Mm -hmm. And then there is this leaf print, and so you can see in the black, and does that show up pretty well? For yeah, you? we can see it. Mm -hmm. And then it's also in the gray. So black with gray or gray with black. And then this print, you can't, I'm sure you can't see it. Do you want to grab it. your black yeah, light? Yeah, it worked. Um, it's so that one. same, um, it's that same flower, floral. Oh, the bouquet? Yeah. Oh, it's, it was this one that's almost dying. Yeah, you, you might grab the wrong one. one. No, it's just Oh, super maybe I'm going to see it. Oh, um, yeah. It, it's that same. Yeah, I don't know if you can see no, it. No, we totally no. can't see it. It's this same one. It's this same bouquet piece, white on white. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's white on white, black on white, white on black. Cool. And then a fun little stripe. Kind of cool the way they I did that. I love her stripes. I do, too. Really awesome. And then here's the great big poppy, which is beautiful. And then I just want to show you, you need to look um, look at illustrations. And I'm going to put it all together. All together. Because this is illustrations. So um, exact same designer, exact same everything. It's just that there are um, yeah, different, different flowers. flowers is all. Yeah. Really, really nice. And then we should show the pattern that they did. So this is her. No, it isn't. This is um, the lavender designer. Field people. But. Yeah. So they did this and I just want to show you they did it. I'm going to open it up when you tell me when you're ready. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, because see if you look in here. Oh, oops, there you go. So it's the exact measurements of the panel, and then what you do is you're just putting just that little bit of gray around it, and then that whole big poppy piece is what the background is. So it's the panel, the gray, and then, and then those big poppies. It's pretty cool. And it finishes, does it say on there? 66 by 72. And that's without an extra border. You could make it quite a bit bigger if you wanted to add one more piece of fabric. All right. Boy, a whole lot of black and white. A lot of modern stuff. So that's okay, though. That's good. That's good. Yeah. You can, Cause Cause you're you can add anything to it you want. Yeah. Or nothing. Or nothing. Or nothing. Or nothing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In my house, this would work out perfect. Tracy, your house, too. Yeah. yeah. I was yeah. just thinking that for the twin beds, I need something for... <laughs> there you go. I need there it is. Bed. There you go. All right. All right. So we have, what um, is this one called? Create. Create. The Black and White Bohemian Dreams. Mm -hmm. Super bright, digitally printed, but look boutique. Few pre-cuts. And this will be, yes, with inside oh, the collection. Oh, oh, Create, and this will be inside the collection. Yeah. And yeah. this is called Dreamers. Yeah. Okay. So you can get your oh, pattern. Oh, yeah. You could do this out of anything. Yeah. Oh, you were thinking out of the Bohemian. Yeah. You could, if you had some large pieces of fabric. Mm -hmm. That'd be cool. 
um, black, white, and navy um, boutique. boutique basics. Mm -hmm. No, what was the other one? Oh, um, joyful, 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 joyful. Just joyful, a few pre-cuts of that. Um, super cool. But take a look. If you didn't, I'll link it below also. Um, the cute little barber pole ribbon. Yep. that we showed for Faber Chat yeah. would be a really fun, simple, fast um, winter or Christmas quilt for you to hang over the couch um, mm -hmm. or even to gift, just to bank, just in case someone yes. brings someone home for Christmas. You never know. Have a little present. You never know. All right. So four lines. So very, very all extremely different. Yeah, it really is. Yeah, it really very is different. different. All right. All right. Awesome. All right. See you later. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching our video. We invite you to leave a comment, hit the like button, or better yet, subscribe to our channel so you never miss an episode. You can also visit our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Pinterest pages, or find all of those things and our online store at fabricpatch.net. I've been putting just this little thing of Caesar's whatever, adding it to her dry dog food in the morning because I feel so bad that the cats get their little thing of wet cat food and she, she gets nothing. I know, yourself but a so, girl. I know. So it just it's not a very big one. But I put it in her tray in her thing this morning and Brother Kitty comes over. What is this? And he oh. starts eating it. Oh. And she's just looking at she's like like this far away from it. Looking at Mom, like, home tell him. What is happening? And I thought, I'm just watching her thinking, you're gonna tell that cat to not eat your food? No. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. And she's just dripping. <laughs> Oh, my dog totally went for that cat. Yeah. <laughs> and Brother Kitty just has no idea. <laughs> yeah, and then Brother Kitty kind of stops at one moment and looks up like, Brother, <laughs> this is mine. <laughs> Take a little step back. <laughs> Corona and all. <laughs> Keeps eating. It's like, oh, poor Lizzie. She's so sweet. She don't even tell the cat no. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I finally said, honey, soft Cute. food. Yeah. <laughs> now that I'm done. That tastes a little weird, but whatever. <laughs>